All right, everybody, we are live. It looks like the mic is picking up. Looks like the sound is working. Looks like the video is working. Everything should be good. How very exciting. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll just greet people as they come in. If there even are any. So I just created a hero just to make sure the game was working correctly. As is my tradition with Diablo games. Here, let me move my camera right quick. Oops, wrong thing. Boy, it does not want to grab the webcam. There we go. You can see that I've named her Amazon Bob. Just like my Diablo 1 characters are always named Bob, my Diablo 3 characters are always named Bob, so too are my Diablo 2 characters. I'm going to go ahead and put that back. We can find an ideal position for it as we keep playing. And Ironclad has subscribed for 30 months. That's two and a half years, my friend. Thank you so much. It's always such a pleasure to have you here. And I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. I hope you're doing well, my friend. All right, let's go ahead and fire up the game with Amazon Bob. So my first character for this endeavor Good day. is going to be a uh, PVM Javazon, for those of you who are up to speed on your Diablo 2 lingo. I'm glad it's good to be streaming again. I can't, uh, I can't claim the sort of regularity with it that I can with uh, the YouTube channel, but it's nice to be up and running, that's for sure. So here we are at the Rogue Encampment. You can see we have a help menu. Hold down control to run. Hold down alt to highlight items on the ground. Hold down shift to attack while standing still. Hit tab to toggle the auto map on and off. Hit escape to bring up the game menu. Hit enter to go into chat mode. Use F1 through F8 to set your left or right mouse button skills. Hit H to toggle this screen open and closed. Life orb. I'm at 50 of 50. Left mouse button skill. Click to change. Currently attack. Normal attack. New stats. New stats. Run walk toggle. Stamina bar. All right, now I'm running. Stamina's at 84 of 84. Here's the experience bar. 0 of 500. Character A or C. Inventory, I or B, skill tree, T, auto map, tab or mouse 3, message log, M, quest log, Q, game menu, escape. My belt currently has four minor healing potions on it. This is the new skill button. This is the right mouse button skill. Click to change. This is the mana orb, 15 out of 15. Hi, Alex. It's great to see you. Welcome in. Always a pleasure. So let's look through these other screens before we do anything else. Good day. If I look at it, I'm not wearing a seat belt. This is the microphone. I'm sitting down today. My legs are kind of torched. I played around the golf this morning to celebrate my brother's birthday, and then I went ahead and did a six mile run with some speed work in the middle of it. And so my legs are pretty torched. So I'm actually sitting for once in my life. So you're seeing, you're seeing the microphone. That's what this is. Oh, now if we go to the character screen. Amazon Bob, level 1, experience 0. She's an Amazon, surprise, surprise. Next level, 500. Strength, 20. Dexterity, 25. Vitality, 20. Energy, 15. Attack damage, 1 through 6. Attack damage, 1 through 6. Attack rating, 95. Average chance to hit fallen, 95%. Attack rating, 95. Defense, 11. Average chance fallen will hit you, 42%. Chance to block, 75%. Hey, free guy, it's nice to see you. Stamina, 84 of 84. Life, 50 of 50. Mana, 15 of 15. Fire resistance, 0. Cold resistance, 0. Lightning resistance, 0. Poison resistance, 0. Let's look at my inventory. In addition to my four minor healing potions, I start with 0 gold, 1 scroll of town portal, 1 scroll of identify. Javelin, throw damage, 6 to 14. 1 hand damage, 1 to 5. Quantity, 60. Javelin class, very fast attack speed. Um, a buckler, defense 5, chance to block 25%, 
Durability 12 of 12, required Today. strength 12. My secondary weapons, I have nothing. Skill tree. I have no skill points available to me right now. Uh, we can look at the bow and crossbow skills, although I'm going to be ignoring these. Magic arrow. You have not learned this skill yet. Creates a magical arrow or bolt that does extra damage. Required level 1. First level converts 1% physical damage to magic damage to attack rating plus 10%, damage plus 1, mana cost 1.5. You have not learned this skill yet. Fire Arrow. Magically enhances your arrows or bolts with fire. Required level 1. First level converts 3% physical damage to elemental damage to attack rating plus 10%. Fire damage 1 through 4. Mana cost Good 3. Day. Fire Arrow receives bonuses from Exploding Arrow plus 12% fire damage per level. You have not learned this skill yet. Cold Arrow. Magically enhances your arrows or bolts by adding cold damage in a slowing effect. Cold arrows only do half of their regular damage, required level 6. First level converts 3% physical damage to elemental damage to attack rating plus 10%. Cold damage 3 to 4, cold length 4 seconds, mana cost 3.5. Cold arrow receives bonuses from ice arrow plus 12% cold damage per level. You have not learned this skill yet. Multiple shot magically splits one arrow or bolt into many, required level 6. 3 fourths weapon damage. First level, two arrows, mana cost four. You have not learned this skill Today. yet. Exploding arrow. Enchants an arrow or bolt that explodes on contact, damaging all nearby enemies. Required level 12. First level, two attack rating, plus 20%. Fire damage, two to six, mana cost five. Exploding arrow receives bonuses from fire arrow, plus 12% fire damage per level. You have not learned this skill yet. Ice Arrow. Magically enhances your arrow or bolt to freeze your enemies. Required level 18. First level to attack rating plus 20%. Cold damage 6 to 10. Freezes for 2 seconds. Mana cost 4. Ice Arrow receives bonuses from Cold Arrow plus 8% cold damage per level. Freezing Arrow plus 5% freeze length per level. You have not learned this skill yet. Guided Arrow. Enhances your arrows and bolts to track your target or seek one of its own. Always Good hits. Day. Required level 18, first level, mana cost 8. You have not learned this skill yet. Strafe. Magically splits one arrow into several that target multiple nearby enemies. Required level 24, 3 fourths weapon damage. First level attacks up to 5 targets. Damage plus 5%, mana cost 11. You have not learned this skill yet. Immolation Arrow. Enhances arrows or bolts to cause severe fire damage and creates a pyre upon impact, required level 24. First level attack plus 30%, fire explosion damage 12 to 23, fire duration 4 seconds, average fire damage 8 to 10 per second, mana cost 6. Immolation arrow receives bonuses from fire arrow plus 5% average fire damage per second per level, exploding arrow plus 10% fire damage per level. And you have not learned this skill yet, freezing arrow. Magically enhances an arrow or bolt to freeze entire groups of monsters. Required level 30, radius 3.3 yards. First level, attack plus 40%, cold damage 40 to 50, freezes for 2 seconds, mana cost 9. Freezing arrow receives bonuses from cold arrow plus 12% cold damage per level, ice arrow plus 5% freeze length per level. So we will be doing passive and magic and javelin and spear skills, so I won't bother looking at those trees just yeah well I might as well so then we have passive and magic skills you have not learned this skill yet inner sight illuminates nearby enemies making them easier to hit for you and your party required level one. First level duration okay. eight seconds enemy defense minus 40 radius 13.3 yards mana cost five you have not learned this skill yet critical strike passive your attacks have a chance to do double damage required level one first level 16 percent chance you have not learned this skill yet. Dodge. Passive. You have a chance to dodge a melee attack when attacking or standing still. Required level 6. First level, 18% chance. You have not learned this skill yet. Slow missiles. Illuminates nearby enemies and slows their ranged attacks. Required level 12. First level, duration 12 seconds. Ranged attacks slowed to 33%. Radius 13.3 yards. Mana cost 5. You have not learned this skill yet. Avoid. Passive, you have a chance to dodge enemy missiles when attacking or standing still. Required level 12. First level, 24% okay. chance. 
You have not learned this skill yet. Penetrate. Passive. Increases your attack rating. Required level 18. First level to attack rating plus 35%. You have not learned this skill yet. Decoy create a, creates a duplicate of yourself that draws fire from enemies. Required level 24. First level, life plus 10%, duration 10 seconds, mana cost 19. You have not learned this skill yet. Evade. Passive. You have a chance to dodge a melee or missile attack when walking or running. Required level 24. First level, 18% chance. You have not learned this skill yet. Valkyrie. Summons a powerful Valkyrie ally. Required level 30. First level, life 440, attack plus 40, mana cost 25. Valkyrie receives bonuses from decoy, plus 20% life per level. Penetrate, plus 40 attack rating per level. Critical strike, okay. dodge, avoid, evade. You have not learned this skill yet. Pierce, passive, your missiles have a chance to pass through enemies that they hit. Required level 30, first level 23% chance. And then the tree we are going to focus on, on this playthrough, with this character, the Javelin and Spear skills. You've not learned this skill yet. Jab. Attacks with a series of rapid thrusts using a Javelin or Spear class weapon. Required level 1, multiple hits. First level, attack plus 10%, damage minus 15%, mana cost 2. You've not learned this skill yet. Power Strike. Adds lightning damage to attacks with Javelin and Spear class weapons. Required level 6. First level, to attack rating plus 20%, lightning damage 1 to 16, mana cost 2. Power Strike receives bonuses Good from day. Lightning Bolt, plus 10% Lightning Damage per level. Charged Strike, plus 10% Lightning Damage per level. Lightning Strike, plus 10% Lightning Damage per level. Lightning Fury, plus 10% Lightning Damage per level. So our main attacks on this build, just spoiler alert, projecting ahead, are going to be Charged Strike and Lightning Fury. And of course we're going to go for the synergies to max those out. So those are the first two skills I'm going to try to max out, just so you know where things are going. You've not learned this skill yet. Poison Javelin. Magically enhances your Javelin to leave a trail of poison clouds. Required level 6. First level, poison damage 25 to 37 over 8 seconds. Mana cost 4. Poison Javelin receives bonuses from Plague Javelin, plus 12% poison damage per level. You've not learned okay. this skill yet. Impale. Increases attack damage, but rapidly degrades the weapon. Required level 12. <coughs> First level, damage plus 300%, attack plus 100%, chance of losing durability 46%, mana cost 3. You have not learned this skill yet. Lightning Bolt. Magically converts your javelin into a bolt of lightning, required level 12. 3 fourths weapon damage converts 100% physical damage to, excuse me, elemental damage. First level, lightning damage 1 through 40, mana cost 6. Lightning Bolt receives bonuses from Power Strike, plus 3% Lightning Damage per level. Charged Strike, plus 3% Lightning Damage per level. Lightning Strike, plus 3% Lightning Damage per level. Lightning Fury, plus 3% Lightning Damage per level. Good day! You have not learned this skill yet. Charged Strike. Adds Lightning Damage to Javelin and Spear class weapons and releases Charged Bolts upon impact. Required level 18. First level releases three charged bolts, lightning damage 1 through 30, mana cost 4. Charged strike receives bonuses from power strike, plus 10% lightning damage per level. Lightning bolt, plus 10% lightning damage per level. Lightning strike, plus 10% lightning damage per level. Lightning fury, t plus 10% lightning damage per level. You've not learned this skill yet. Plague javelin. Magically enhances your javelin to release expanding clouds of poison upon impact. Required level 18. First level, attack plus 30%, poison damage 23 through 37 over 3 seconds, mana cost 7. Plague Javelin receives bonuses from Poison Javelin, plus 10% poison damage per level. You have not learned this skill yet. Fend. Attacks all adjacent targets, required level 24. First level, attack bonus plus 40%, damage plus 70%, mana cost 5. You have not learned this skill yet. Lightning Strike. Adds d lightning damage to javelin and spear class weapons and releases chain lightning upon impact. Required level 30. First level 2 hits, lightning damage 1 to 25, mana cost 9. Lightning strike receives bonuses from power strike, plus 8% lightning damage per level. Lightning bolt, plus 8% lightning damage per level. Charge strike, plus 8% lightning damage per level. And lightning fury, plus 8% lightning damage per level. And you have not learned this skill yet. Lightning fury. 
changes a thrown javelin into a powerful bolt of lightning that splits on impact, required level 30. First level releases two bolts, lightning damage 1 through 40, mana cost 10. Lightning Fury receives bonuses from Power Strike, plus 1% one lightning, 1 lightning damage per level. Lightning Bolt, plus 1% lightning damage per level. Charge Strike, plus 1% lightning damage per level. And Lightning Strike, plus 1% lightning damage per level. Um, my cinematics aren't working, so we're not going to be able to watch the movies. Here's your auto map. Which I'm going to play most of the game with, but I'll... Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it up for now. My message log is empty, but that's what it looks like. My quest log is empty. As you can see, this is a brand new character. Good day. And my game menu. Let's peruse my options right quick. I think that all sounds good. Video options are fine. That's good. My controls are fine. Everything's good. Okay. So let's start exploring this town we find ourselves in. Let's finally talk to this fellow who's been so eager so far. Warif. Oh, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Loot Gulane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Gee, thanks buddy. Got anything else? Gossip? It's easy to become lost in the wilderness on the way to the Citadel. After you have come to the Cairn Stones, you must remember that the path continues through the caves. All right. Anything else? It's easy. To okay, now his gossip stays the same. So then we have our private stash. This is the game that introduced that. Nothing here. The gold maximum is 2,500,000. And I think it goes up as you level up, if memory serves. All right, so my exit for this one is to the northwest. Let's talk to Kasia. Well, well. I never expected to see an Amazon in these lands. You're very brave to have come here. Many of my fellow sisters have fallen under some dark spell, and if you're not careful, you may fall prey to it as well. <clears throat> Before our exile, Charcy, our blacksmith, could fashion any implement of war here in the camp. She merely makes do. Her best tools remain within the monastery. All right. We're going to talk to Akara last, because she happens to be the person who does give us our first quest. Here's Geed. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, <coughs> and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. Two whole days? <laughs> oh, Geed. When or if I get to Loot Galane, I'm going to find the largest bowl of gnarled weed and smoke till all earthly sense has left my body. What a guy. Alright, so we can trade with him. He's got armor that I can't even wear. And weapons. I have zero gold, so none of this matters right now. But he does sell basic javelins. However, I'm far better off 
replenishing my stack just by repairing with Charcy. It'll be a lot cheaper. Greetings. Geed's also our gambler. If you don't know what gambling is, you pick a base item that you want and you shell out the gold for it. And gambling came back in a big way in Diablo 3. It was a much better proposition. I don't think you can really gamble much good stuff in Diablo 2, uh, which is which they changed in 3. You get really good stuff gambling in 3. Now let's talk to Charcy. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Mm. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andaria. So she'll train, she can also repair our items. Which becomes very important, what obviously. I Gossip. I don't know why some of my sisters chose to follow Andaria. Those who strayed were among our finest warriors. That leaves the waypoint. Right now there's just the rogue encampment. No other waypoints activated. And Akara. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, traveler, to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. Bold promise. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. Uh, Alex, I'm just munching on some Tic Tacs. <laughs> I'm not really eating anything, but it feels like I am, and that can be important. Gossip. Kasha has always been fiercely loyal. I fear her anger and frustration over these recent events will lead her into harm's way. She is highly protective of the few rogues remaining under her command, and will not send them into combat unless there is dire need. So we can also trade with Akara. She sells the Tome of Town Portal and the Tome of Identify, which will probably be my first purchases. She also sells potions and scrolls, and... Weapons for the magically inclined, which I am not. Quest log. Den of evil. Look for the den in the wilderness outside the rogue's camp. Now we can speak to everyone about the den of evil. Greetings. As we can, as we usually can, when we get a new quest. The demons in that cave have claimed many of my finest archers. I wonder how you will fare. Good evening. One who seeks that cave seeks death. You're a brave soul. I'd sooner thrust my sacred scepter into the foulest carbuncular troll than set one boot into that cave. <laughs> The beasts from the cave have begun to roam throughout the countryside. You'd better be careful out there. 
All right. Now the last thing I want to do, I need my talk command. Enter. That's easy. I just want to do uh, players eight. Players set to eight. So for those who don't know, in single player, which I'm playing, you can set the players to eight, or anywhere between one and eight, which is the maximum. Raising it to eight uh, ups enemy health, ups their damage somewhat, but it also ups your experience gains, so you will level up much, much faster, which is what I'm after in doing that. I shall purge this land of the shadow. All right, here we are in the Blood Moor. The first zone of Diablo 2. It's a quill rat! Die! See, the single quill rat gave me 94 experience on Player's 8. It's good. It's locked. Locked chests, so we need keys to open those. Let's kill this zombie. He dropped arrows, hooray. Here's another. A refilling shrine, if memory serves, refills my uh, life and mana to full. So I'm already about to hit level 2. Got another scroll of town portal, that's nice. There's another refilling shrine. Okay. And here's some fallen. A fulminating potion. And we're at level 2 already. Alright, so for stat spread, the it's it's a pretty simple proposition. I do strength and dexterity as needed to equip my gear. And apart from that, everything goes into vitality. So we're gonna put five points into vitality for level two. And for my first skill, I wanna unlock not that it really matters because we have to get into higher levels, but I want to max out Charge Strike and Lightning Fury as fast as possible. So I'll go for their prereqs first, in this case, Jab. So current skill level is one, next level, which we're never going to get, is attack plus 19%, damage minus 12%, mana cost 2.2. We'll go ahead and put Jab on my uh, right click for now. We'll give it a try. More, some bolts. Oh yeah, so, a fulminating potion. Throw damage 5 to 15, quantity 7, equipped to throw fast attack speed. Arrows and bolts are ammo for uh, bows and crossbows, respectively. Our first gold. There's another refilling shrine. A light mana potion. Two gold. Another fulminating potion. And bam, we're at level three. Another five to vitality. So, I can't do any more javelin and spear skills yet. So let's wander into passive and magic. I don't want inner sight, but I am going to take the first level of critical strike. Now, level two, which again, we're never going to get. Next level, 25% chance. But, as going from absolutely nothing to a 16% chance of double damage, that single skill point is a pretty, pretty, pretty big buff. Just putting that out there. We got a light healing potion and a minor healing potion. Some gold.
damaged boots. All right. So a light healing potion heals for 90 points. A minor healing potion heals for 45. A light mana potion heals for 60. Damaged boots. Defense 1, durability 1 of 3. That's not great. It's all right, though. Another minor potion. We got a cracked cap. Defense 2, durability 1 of 3. I remember when this game first came out, way back in the day, I was blown away that my character model actually changed every time I equipped something. Just gonna show how primitive games used to be, I suppose. Alright, so we have Stamina Potion and Strangling Gas, which are both new. That just refills the Stamina Bar to max. Strangling Gas Potion, throw damage 24, required level 6. Equipped to throw, fast attack speed. We got gold, a damaged dagger, and a low quality cap. The daggers, one hand damage, one to three, durability two of five, dagger class, very fast attack speed. Low quality cap is defense three. Hey, it's better. Upgrade! Hilarious. So you can kind of see what I'm doing to try and make sure I explore everything. I got another damage dagger and another scroll of identify, and some zombies to kill. A sash. That's new. Defense 2, durability 6 of 12, but the big thing it does is it doubles the size of our potion belt. Because now we have, you know, a belt. So I'm put my healing pots in there. Kind of going to hold on to everything else. For now, anyway. Cow! Stamina Shrine. A superior throwing knife. Throw damage 4 to 10, one hand damage 2 to 4, required dexterity 21, dagger class fast attack speed plus 1 to maximum damage. So the Stamina Shrine gives us infinite stamina for a while. The weight of the world seems lighter. It's not hugely significant, but it's certainly better than nothing. A damaged short sword and a key. So with that key, we can go back and open that locked chest I saw earlier. One hand damage, one to five. Sword class, fast attack speed. So I think the locked chest was right over here. It's like the first thing I saw. Yeah. We got gold, portal scroll, another healing pot, and a magic cap we'll need to identify. Ooh la la. Good thing I have scrolls. Sturdy cap of energy. Defense 6, 15% enhanced defense, plus 1 energy. That's definitely an upgrade. I am overburdened. Alright. Well, we'll go back to get those arrows. I'm still of the mindset to pick up everything and sell everything in order to max out my gold. So, let's visit Charcy. Let's repair everything I'm wearing. That's 12 gold. Let's sell everything I don't need. That'd be the arrows. Bolts. The arrows. The dagger. The caps. The stamina pot throwing knives, short sword, this cap, gas potion, the mana pot, 
and the fulminating potion. Now I ought to be able to afford both tomes from Akara. Greetings. It's important to me, so quantity one. We can stack all of our portal scrolls in here. And if I also buy the Tome of Identify, I can stack my Identify scrolls like so. And then I can buy five keys. To make sure I can unlock chests as we go along. That's a pretty good first run of stuff. I'm going to stick the rest of my gold in my stash. That way, in the event that something kills me, not that I really anticipate it happening anytime soon, but you never know. And if it does, I don't lose gold if it's sitting in my stash. And right, we're arrows. All right, that seems close to it for this side of that bridge to the northwest, but let's go check the rest out. Oh, hey, there's the Den of Evil. JK. I got leather gloves and a katar. Leather gloves, defense three, katar. Damage four to seven, assassin only. Very slow attack speed with claw. Required with dex and strength requirements. Uh, I'll do the I'll do the den after I clear the wilderness at large. Stay outside for now. Zombie! Come on now. There's a short sword. But it's got a socket in it! Yes, this game introduced sockets as well. Damaged quilted armor. Well, it's going to be better than nothing. Defense 6 required strength 12. An amulet! Let's identify it. Rugged amulet of strength. 2 to strength, 7 to maximum stamina. It's better than nothing. Portal, a crude eagle orb, and a chipped sapphire. Sorceress only, required level 6. Damage 1 to 3. Fast attack speed, plus 1 to ice blast, sorceress only, plus 1 to ice bolt, sorceress only, plus 1 to charged bolt, sorceress only, plus 2 to life. Chipped sapphire can be inserted into socketed items. Then we want to hold on to our gems so we can transmute them later on with the Herodric Cube. So this is destined to live in my stash. Weapons adds 1 to 3 cold damage, plus 10 to mana, plus 10 armor, plus 10 to mana, helms, plus 10 to mana, shields, cold resist, plus 12%. Uh, I do want to use, um, obviously this is end game plotting, but I'm planning to make chains of honor for my body armor, so I will need to do a significant amount of transmuting of gems and runes in order to get there. Alright, we've hit level 4. Still no need for strength or dex. These will go into vitality. For the skill, I'm just going to hold on. I'm going to hold on the skill points. So I don't want any of these.
Ruby. Can be inserted into socketed items. Weapons adds 3 to 4 fire damage. Armor and helms plus 10 to life. Shields fire resist plus 12%. It's a health shrine. I'll leave it for now. Can run over here if there's an emergency and I need it. <coughs> Throwing knife. Seen those before. I don't really care. Alright, Flobby, that's the entrance to the second outdoor zone. We'll go ahead and talk to her, but kind of marks our. For me, it marks the turnaround point, which is good. A chipped amethyst. Minor mana does 30. Chipped Amethyst can be inserted into socketed items. Weapons, plus 42 attack rating. Armor and helms, plus 3 to strength. Shields, plus 8 defense. Hey, hey, Apotham! Good to see you. How are you, my friend? Oh. Turn back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next wilderness. I'll fight that zombie in a second. Halt. You were saying? Turn back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next wilderness. Halt. You should complete Akara's quest before venturing further. Search for the den in the wilderness closer to camp. There we go. Aye, aye. Flabby. So that was an ethereal cap. Defense 6 cannot be repaired. Check things out over here. More fallen. Oh, good. It's automatically putting post or scrolls into my tomes now, which, to be clear, is what you want. Damaged club. One hand damage, one to four. Mace class fast, plus 50% damage to undead. Another identify scroll, not bad. Basic gold drop, that's all good. Fallen. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. Quilted armor, cracked javelin, club, and a chipped topaz. Can be inserted into socket of items. Weapons adds 1 to 8 lightning damage. Armor and helms, 9% better chance of getting magic items. Shield, lightning resist, plus 12%. Your bank account got hacked? That's horrible, dude. I'm so sorry. Are things sorted out yet? Is everything okay? Alright, let's go visit Charcy. Greetings. So you kind of settle into a routine in town. Sell off all the shit you don't need. Which for me includes spare potions. We'll repair all our gear. Stash gems. I don't think I really need to buy anything else. So we'll just stash our gold and get right back to work. Just waiting for new debit cards. Okay, well, I mean, that's a huge pain in the ass, but I'm glad everything got sorted. 
All right, what have we here? Quilted armor, defense 11, required strength 12, two sockets. Well, that's better. Cracked javelin, definitely not as good as a javelin. There's a club with one socket. Don't particularly care, but, you know, nice to see everything. All right, that should about clear the blood more. There's a chest with a superior short bow. Two end damage, one to five, plus one to maximum damage. Bow class, fast attack speed, and it has a socket. There's a zombie. I missed. It's all right, we'll get him. A damaged javelin. Same thing. Throw damage four to ten, one hand damage one to three. I should be, th I should be throwing my javelins. That's much better. Yeah, I really hope that, uh, I, I have a good feeling about Diablo 2 Resurrected. Because it's not really a remake, you know, it's, I, my, my favorite button that they pushed when they were running the tech demo of it was to, uh, like the, the old version button, where you pushed it and just like, all the fancy graphics faded away and it showed you that old Diablo 2 is still running underneath everything. All right, let's enter the den of evil. Quest log. I hear foul creatures about. Kill all the monsters in the den. Well, there we go. Golden the throwing knife. Now we got fallen shamans in here who raise fallen. As veterans know, it's not good. Crude Club. There's our first rejuvenation potion. Heals 35% life and mana. Eh. I'm gonna go back to stabbing. I don't want to be worried about ammo. Gargantuan Beast! A superior... Superior hand axe. I'll need to look at that in a moment, but... I do want to throw at the shamans. Gives me a nice ranged option for making sure I can target them. Even when all their little buddies are still around. And then the little buddies are quite stabbable. So, our inventory's full again, let's... And we hit level 5. Strength and decks are still good, so... These go into vitality. I still haven't unlocked any new skills, so I'm gonna sit on that skill point as well. Let's return to town. <laughs> well, alright, Alex. Best of luck on your attempted... No death run of Dark Souls. That what can I do for would you? be quite the accomplishment. I now actually know that. Let's see. Get rid of all that. Everything else is fine. And we can get right back to work. So, a hand axe, we haven't seen that before. It's ethereal. 4 to 9 damage, fast attack speed, plus 2 to attack rating, increased maximum durability by 10%. And we got a crack throwing knife, we've seen that. Light healing pot, so as I start finding lights, I'm gonna sub out my miners. That just seems sensible. Dead rogue. Arrows and a mana pot, bolts, arrows, stamina pot, and gold. Alright, here we go. 
Here, you know, I'm never using jab. I'll put throw on right click. And keep... Keep basic stab on left. That'll work until I get some of my actual attacking skills up and running. Superior Qatar. There's a scroll of identify. And a cracked short sword. See, so I've seen all these items before. Ethereal is such a horrible thing to see on items. Oh, and it it kills you when it's an item you actually wanted for your build. When that happens, you just want to die. Portal scroll. There's another light healing pot. I can sub in for a miner. And our inventory's full again. Happens pretty fast. It's alright though. I am overburdened. Crack club. What you need? There's also a lot less to do on most town runs in this game than there was in Diablo 1. So even though we have to do it a lot more often, they go faster. Cracked club. Yay! Come here now. Come here, zombie. Where's your shaman? I know he's up here. There he is. Ooh, a ring. Almost certainly end up actually wearing that. Shaman! Get him! Get out of the way! inbound. Ooh, magic leather gloves. I only like to pause to deal with inventory and whatnot when things are clear. Too many trips to town. Yeah, that's that, that may be true. Hey Cole, it's really good to see you. Welcome back, welcome back. I know it has been a while. I've been doing well, how about yourself? This Eagle Orb is plus four to life. Alright, let's identify the gloves. Defense 3, Leather Gloves of Dexterity, plus 1 to Dexterity. Well, hey, it's better than no mods. Uh, and we got two rings. This one is a Crimson Ring of Craftsmanship, plus 1 to maximum damage, fire resist 5%, better than nothing. And this one is Bronze Ring, plus 20 to attack rating, also better than nothing. So 
up, Mr. Beast? You've never played Diablo 2. Well, I highly recommend it, even as is, but you will definitely, if nothing else, you will definitely get a chance come September when they release the resurrected version. It definitely has its foibles, but I will also say there's a reason it's pretty universally regarded as the best game in the trilogy. Shaman. I don't imagine that low quality buckler is going to be very compelling, but you never know. I can't carry anymore. Finish these guys off and then we Time to level up and take a trip to town. I am overburdened. Undead minion. Okay. I'll kill this one, but then I definitely want to back off and get my town trip done. Okay. Strength and dex are still good, so this goes into vitality. And now at level six, I have unlocked another tier of skills. So in the passive and magic tree, I am going to put one point into dodge. Level two, which we will nev never see, has a required level of seven, and... Oh, it doesn't even tell me what I'll get at the next level. <laughs> okay. And then I've got two other skill points. Well, I do need power strike. So we'll take that. And I do need Poison Javelin, so we'll take that as well. Oh, okay, N now it actually shows me. So, the second level of dodge, which we'll never see, is a 24% chance. Power Strike level 2 raises attack rating by 32% and does 1 to 34 lightning damage. Mana cost goes up to 2.2. Poison Javelin uh, is going to live at level 1 forever. But the hypothetical next level gives 46 to 62 poison damage over 10 seconds and raises the mana cost to 4.2. Alright, so now I am going to put Power Strike as my right mouse uh, skill. And you'll notice I've actually used all the skill points I was saving. How about that? Let's run to town. They need to make a game with the atmosphere of Diablo 1, with the gameplay of Diablo 2. I'd be completely here for that. Yes. Let's repair everything. Low quality buckler. Defense 3. Yeah, that's worse. So no, I'm not compelled. Put my gold in the stash. Oh, Cole, I've been up to many things. Um, I'm uh, currently still unemployed. I'm hoping that changes soon. There is at least movement on that front, which is nice. Uh, been spending a lot of time with my lovely girlfriend. And... I've been doing a lot of running. I am in the thick of a train cycle for a half marathon. So I've been putting my downtime to pretty good use. Uh, I've been building a new computer. Uh, I am almost done with it, actually. I am working on the... Well, 
working. I haven't started. I'm a little intimidated. I have the materials, and I need to build the uh, cooling system. I need to measure and cut and bend the tubes and place them, and then that'll be ready to go. And I should hopefully be able to... Yeah, I'm, I'm able to stream right now. I got that problem solved, but I can only stream, like, low-tech older games. Uh, I'm hoping to be able to change that before too terribly long. All right, we got two light pots here. We'll sub out two more miners. Mo zombies. Small charm. Ah, yes, charms. Alright, anything I really want dead fast, like shamans or special monsters, that's what I'll start using Charge Strike on. Quest log. Monsters remaining, five. Alright, let's see about that charm. Small charm of strength. Keep it inventory to gain bonus. Plus one to strength. I probably won't hold on to that. Alright, so minions are tougher than ordinary monsters, but probably not on the level of wanting to use my mana. I should hold that for the actual boss. Four monsters left, and look, there they are. One, two, three, four. Alright, you kinda wanna try and you wanna try and bait away the minions, if it's at all possible. Peel them off, deal with them one at a time. So then we can just attack the boss directly. Last one, Corpse Fire, Undead with Spectral Hit. Got him. Ooh, we got a rare amulet. And the magic cap. Perhaps now the sisters will trust me. Quest log. Return to Akara for a reward. We absolutely should do that. Cap of self repair. Repairs one durability every 33 seconds. What I have is better. And the rare amulet. Plague noose. Plus one to maximum damage, plus 17 to attack rating, plus five to life, plus five maximum stamina, fire resist, plus five percent. Yeah, that's better than plus two to strength. We'll do that for sure. Awesome. All right, now back to town. Eh, no, we don't need to rush back to town. Our inventory will be full soon enough. We'll go back when it is. Yeah, Cole, I've, uh, yeah, well, you know, here's, here's something that's wild to think about. We've been dealing with the pandemic for a year and a half now, 18 entire months. My first six months were really, really pretty terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not unique in that. That's a lot of people. But, on the flip side... My last year or so has actually been really good. And things are trending up. So. Alright, I have to walk for a while. The stamina meter, one of the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest things in this game. I am so glad they got rid of it for Diablo 3. Beware. Beyond. For the likes of you. Yeah, you sure? I handled your den of evil okay. Entering the cold plains. 
So the monsters will get tougher as we cross the threshold into a new area like this. Just kind of the nature of the beast. New area, new tier of monsters. Dark Spear Woman. Alright, so these are our first corrupted rogues. Hi, Sito. Nice to see you. Welcome in. How's things? I can't carry it. Time for a trip to town. Very good. What's up, Akara? Good day. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. The reward is training in the skill of your choice. Alright, so she gives us a free skill point, which I don't think I have any use for at the moment, but let's see if people have new gossip now. I often dream of the day we reclaim our own. The sightless eye sees through the mist of time a great glory ahead. But how far ahead, the eye cannot discern. I'm doing well too, Sito. I'm glad to hear things are good for you. Alright, let's go ahead and offload stuff. I still have scrolls, so that's good. Good evening. Oh, I like Gide. He's very funny. He has all sorts of interesting stories from the places he's been. I wish I could see the sights he has. You are truly brave and skillful. Akara was worried about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't take any skills I care about, so we'll sit on that point for now. Yes? The only good demon is a dead one, I say. By the way, demon is a dead one. Happen to find anything in that cave you'd like to sell? Hmm. Not bad, Geed. Yes? <laughs> that which does not kill you makes you stronger. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Well, of course. Gossip. Perhaps Tristram deserved its fate for letting evil loose upon the land. I only hope we don't suffer the same. Alright, Sister's Burial Grounds. That's a new quest. Look for Blood Raven in the Burial Grounds next to the Cold Plains. Den of Evil, of course, is completed. And now we can backtrack and talk to everybody about our new quest. I also forgot to ask them about gossip. I'll gladly take you eastward. If you can drive the evil from the monastery, then the rogues may reopen the pass through the mountains. Sister's burial grounds. Hmm. How can one kill what is already dead? Mysteries. 
I didn't ask Geed for gossip either. Charcy is a fine girl, oh, but she has no business savvy. I know she means well, but the prices she charges for weapons and armor will never earn her a profit. As long as I keep filling her mind with stories of adventure, she'll never catch on to the fact that I'm raking in gold hand over fist. Sister's burial grounds. I'm sorry. The undead are bad for trade. I have a strict no return policy. Huh. <laughs> Charcy, anything? Blood Raven was the leader of a rogue band that once fought Diablo at Tristram. And Akara. So, uh, one time per difficulty after you complete the Den of Evil, Akara gives you a respec. Uh, I'm not gonna use it. I'm planning well, but it's worth noting that it's there. Blood Raven fought Valiant in the catacombs beneath Tristram. She was never quite the same afterwards. It is now obvious she brought an evil influence back with her. It's obvious. Alrighty. Back to it then. What was it I couldn't pick up? Ah, yes, the cracked Qatar. In terms of this level of lore dive, it'll be kind of like Diablo 1. I'll only probably only do that once, because, you know, in future streams, I really like the Diablo series, so we're probably going to stream a lot of it, and... Damaged quilted armor! No dice, no good. Another refilling shrine, also not necessary. What's up, bro? Anytime we see Fallen now, we're gonna have shamans to deal with. It's just worth noting. Damaged Scepter. Two more Fallen packs. Let's go after their shamans first. Level up once things settle down. Need to identify that dagger. I am overburdened. Is that everybody? Why, well, yes it is. Good. Alright, so we'll park here. Um, my stats are still good, so... It's another vitality level here at 7. Now... I have no interest in more than one point in any of these, but... I can... A poison Javelin and Jab are going to stay at 1, but I do want to raise Power Strike because of its synergy and so I might as well give it a second rank we'll have to sit on the other skill point for now I don't have a good spot to use it and that's fine back to town and oh yes the scepter we haven't seen those before one hand damage four to eight fine I'll fight you first Cracked Sash. Defense 1. What I have is better. So the Scepter. One hand damage 4 to 8. Fast attack speed. Plus 1 to Prayer. Paladin only. So those are the sort of magic booster for Paladins. Alright, I need another. I need to buy another Portal what Scroll. Can I do, for you? do that right quick. 
And I need to identify that dagger before I sell it. Dagger of Craftsmanship. Plus one to maximum damage. Yeehaw. Alright, I've got a full stack of keys, so I'll sell redundant ones. Very good. And I need a portal scroll. Hello. This might be the path to the next area. Yes, it's. That goes to the stony field. We need to finish the cold plains, and we need to do the burial grounds before we go there. Hi, hi, hi. Everybody settle down. camp. Usually at least uh, three shaman groups here. It's Bishibosh! He's fire enchanted so I want to finish him off with a throne javelin. So his explosion doesn't kick my ass eight ways to Sunday. There we go. Try and kill all the basic ones. Oh shoot, there's a... Live shaman down there. If you're curious, they accounted for those of us who might be tempted to farm experience using shamans. You only get experience the first time you kill a fallen. If it gets revived and you kill it again, that is worth a whopping zero experience points. That's a new one. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. Chipped emerald can be inserted into socketed items. Weapons plus ten poison damage over three seconds. Armor and helms plus three to dexterity. Shields poison resist plus twelve percent. Charcy and Akara. Those are our stops. Good to see you. There's another white potion. Set it in down there. I'll get your dab in just a second, buddy. Alright, I need another portal scroll. Let's hit it. Greetings. Outstanding. Ethereal quilted armor. A barrel short bow. Poison resist plus 8%. Here's your dab. 
Oh, my legs are stiff. Ah, uh, here we go. Whew. You're welcome. And uh, this is actually an opportunity to grab a drink. I'll be right back. Five seconds. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed that. Alright, here we go. An amulet! I'm out of identify scrolls! We don't have Kane yet! What a terrible state of affairs. I can't carry anymore. Right, well, when I know I'm about to go back to town, I might as well just go ahead and use my mana up. All right, let's see here. What can I do for you? Okay. We're at the we're at the gold level now where I can actually fill my tomes. So instead of just buying one scroll, Hello. I'm gonna shift right click. I'll buy twenty, which fills that tome. That'll buy twenty tome uh, scrolls of identify, which fills that one. Alright. Quilted armor of self repair. Well it's ethereal, but it repairs itself. I'm actually going to wear that for now. It has four higher defense, and two sockets isn't enough to care about. Rugged Amulet of Energy, plus two to energy, plus ten maximum stamina. Uh, yeah, those attack boosts are better, for sure. I'll keep what I have. We go. Shaman, shaman, shaman. There he is. this game. I played so much Diablo 2 when I was in high school. And I'm never bored when I come back to it. Alright, we can sub in another white pot. Nearly got an entire belt of light potions. That's fun. Me, a little dick. I'm overburdened. That time again. Good to see you. All right. No need to visit a car. We're good. Ah yes, the cave! That's our first pure side area. Naturally, I am absolutely going to explore it. You know, when the time comes. Or 
those boots might be an upgrade. I'll have to check it out in a second. What got the laugh, Sito? Oh, it's Wine Milf! Hello, 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 Raiders! Thank you so much, it's so good to see you. Welcome, everybody, my name's Travis. I'm an, uh, a pretty occasional streamer these days. When I do stream, it's usually one of three things. It's usually Diablo or Thief or uh, Elder Scrolls. I've also been known to stream a lot of horror games and some other open world RPGs when the mood strikes me. But, uh, it's really good to see you. How'd your stream go, Melf? What were you playing tonight? We're just playing some Diablo 2 tonight, getting excited for the resurrected version, which comes out in September. Hi, Papa Smurf, and thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Dead by Daylight. Did you use one of the Silent Hill skins? I can't carry anymore. I never really do much multiplayer, but uh, did you win? Or did you do well? Assuming. I can't carry anymore. Yeah, I, cle I, I, I clearly know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go back to town. We can restock on our uh, scrolls, at least. What can I do for you? Okay, let's see. Yeah, the boots are definitely better than damaged boots. Keep stashing our gold. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't win, but you had fun. That's what counts, right? Ring of craftsmanship, one to maximum damage. Um, let me see. I want extra damage. I'll swap that out for the bronze ring. Fun is only sometimes. Oh, uh, well, I hope it was mostly fun. I don't know a lot about Dead by Daylight. I've never played it. All I really know is that it's like... the only place Silent Hill is still kind of sort of alive, and we were all supposed to be really excited when Dead by Daylight got like a Silent Hill content pack of some sort. I don't mean to talk... I don't mean to speak all that disdainfully. I... I just don't usually play multiplayer, that's all. That, and I'm really, 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 really bitter at Konami about the Silent Hill franchise. There's also that. Ooh, a jewel! These are good. Well, they can be, anyway. Defense 2, so that's fine. Let's identify the jewel. Can be inserted into socketed items. Plus 8 blanched jewel of spirit. Plus 8 defense, plus 5 to life. I don't think I have anything socketed right now. Uh, that's that's not really good enough to hold on to, either, but... I am overburdened. On the other hand... If I put that jewel in there, I will have a quilted armor that is at 17 defense and gives me a bonus plus 5 to life. Why not? That actually worked out pretty well. Good day. Belt is still full. Good day. This looks like the entrance to the burial grounds. It is. Kill Blood Raven! 
Well, we'll do that later. Ooh. Not much later. We're just gonna finish off this wilderness and its side area first. throwing knife. Nothing I'm going to use, but it'll sell for a lot, and that's something. Demon Gutter. Throw damage 6 to 11, one hand damage 4 to 5, plus 2 to minimum damage, plus 2 to maximum damage, plus 1 cold damage. It's pretty good. For this early in the game. On normal. Hey, she dropped a javelin. Exact same basic javelin I started the game with. Now this is clever. If you've never played the, this game before, this is a little tricky. This doesn't show that you can interact with it, but if you go straight to the side of this bed here, it is actually searchable. Let's identify that Katar. Bronze Katar of Shock. 15 to attack rating adds 1 to 3 lightning damage. Ooh, a superior javelin! It's gonna be my first weapon change. Can just about guarantee it. We leveled up, too. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. Ooh, a chipped skull! I can't carry anymore. It's the very last of the gem types. Can be inserted into socketed items. Weapons. 2% life stolen per hit, 1% mana stolen per hit. Armor and helms. Regenerate mana 8%, replenish life plus 2. Shields, attacker takes damage of four. Alright, so strength and dex are still doing fine, so more points for vitality. And now at level eight, I can put one more rank into power strike. Next level, two attack rating plus 44%, lightning damage 1 to 52, mana cost 2.5. That's fine. We'll still sit on the other point. Oops. Not the stash, not first. What you need? So the skull goes in here. Gold goes in there. Very good. Alrighty, let's see here. Pick up all the stuff I'm not excited I'm about. Overburdened. Ha 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 ha! Just sell it off. Good evening. Now I'll pick up the thing I am excited about. The Superior Javelin. Should be better than a normal javelin in some fashion. Plus one to maximum damage. Very good. Yeah, that'll do. Shaman! That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Ha ha ha. Shaman. Come on. There we go. Got him. Yeah. 
The shaman. Come on. And there's gonna be another one down here. Leather armor. Another ring. An eagle orb. That leather armor is gonna be an upgrade. Just kinda know it. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. I can't carry anymore. Many goodies to sort through. Alright, let's go. The Eagle Orb. It's just plus one to life. Leather Armor, Defense 21, Ethereal, blah, socketed. Let's see about this ring. Ring of Craftsmanship, plus one to maximum damage. Alright, well I have that on both slots already, so it's redundant. Let's go home, so to speak. Good to see you. You know what's funny? After playing one of the old school Diablo games, big, big, big left click, my fingers actually start to get numb. <sighs> Need to take a moment to fix that. Alright, let's see about these. This leather armor, defense 14 socketed. Yeah, I'll do that. In its current iteration, the quilted armor is a little better, but that's precisely because of the jewel I have socketed into it. Is buckler any good? Yes, it has a higher... It's got one point higher defense. Hey, an upgrade's an upgrade where I come from. And here is the Cold Plains Waypoint. That's a good thing to have activated. Good evening. means we can teleport at will, which I really enjoy. inside this house. I think I did. Yes. Very good. Very good. All right. And I think that's it for out here. So let's go do the cave next. I'll take the freebie trip. What you need?
Cave level one. Health shrine. Leave that. Come to it if we need it. All right. Final substitution. I have a full belt of light pots now. Delicious. Hi. See about that ring. Oh, come on. Ring of Greed. 33% extra gold from monsters. That's not compelling. I'll hit that health shrine. We've taken some damage. Just go around. <gasps> Skelly! You bet we're going to see a lot of these. Hungry dead. I am overburdened. All right, off we go. Good day. Your presence honors me. Alright, cave level two. Uh, we'll explore the rest of the cave first. There's a pretty tough boss down there. Um, Cold Crow lives at the bottom of the, the cave. We should be able to handle her just fine on normal, but... She's one of the game's tougher super uniques, that's for sure. Defense 16. Can't sub that in. Shaman! I can't carry anymore. Nice. What can I do for you? to the shamans first. Just try not to get cornered. And once the shamans are down, you can start dealing with everything else. Wand. That's 
a new item. Overburdened. The wand. Plus 50% damage to undeads. One socket. Fast attack speed. Staff. Two to four one hand damage. That one doesn't have any good enchants on it, but wands I think are uh, spell items for necromancers. That little fallen camp in the cave is cleared. Good. There's a health shrine right there. That'll come in handy. You feel healthy. Short sword. What can I do for you? Yeah, the Dark Rangers do a lot of damage. All right, short staff. We haven't seen one of those before. Two hand damage, one to five. Normal attack speed. But this one is plus one to frozen armor, sorceress only, and it's socketed. Not that that matters much. Yeah, very, very soon, the enemies are going to get tough enough that we're going to have to start actually using our potions. We're not quite there yet, but it's coming quickly. Bloodthirst. One hand damage, two to eight. Plus one to maximum damage, plus 18 to attack rating, plus 10% damage to demons, plus 40 to attack rating against demons. Adds one to six lightning damage, plus two poison damage over two seconds, repairs one durability in 33 seconds. See, that ain't bad. Too bad it's a short sword. I have to use a spear or a javelin to retain access to my skills. Oh, hi. It's Cold Crow. There she is. 
All right, so for a cold enchant, I just want to back off and throw javelins. For her friends, power strike is still good. We leveled up. It's pretty well timed. Another minion. Let's run back to this well. We'll go ahead and use that minor healing pot. Now we'll go back to the well. We'll have the side benefit of restoring mana as well. Come here, cold crow. I got you. There it is. All right. I am overburdened. Okay, we leveled up during that exchange. Strength and dex have still been good, so this is going into vitality. And for here, we we don't get the next tier of skills till level 12, so all I have to do is put another rank into power strike. Next level to attack rating plus 56%, lightning damage 1 to 70, mana cost 2.7. Let's do it. Let's sit on that other one. I can't carry anymore. Alright, I got some magic boots. Tireless boots. Defense 3, heal stamina plus 25%. Sounds better than what I got. What you need? Ooh, I have a socketed one. Nice. Hold on to that in case I find something good. Lizard's Cap of Charged Bolt. Defense 4 plus 3 to mana, 10% chance to cast level 3 Charged Bolt when struck. Yeah, that's better. That charged bolt chance, that's pretty darn good. Especially when we're up close and personal in a hairier encounter. That could bail us out. We sacrifice two points of defense and a little bit of the energy stat, which is like, ha 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 ha, useless. <laughs> Belt is still full. It's <laughs> good.
shaman. There actually doesn't seem to be one. That can't be right. Hi, DLF. It's good to see you. Welcome in. How you been, my friend? I am overburdened. Alright, let's see. Let's identify those gloves. Sturdy leather gloves of strength. Better defense and a point to strength. What do I care more about, strength or dex? Dex is not the be-all, end-all it was in Diablo 1. So I think... I think I'll go with the one that does two things. Oops. Good evening. I sense a game in. No shaman. We have minions. Bane white, multiple shots. Very nice. Use one of those pots. Looks like another one of those fallen camps. Thought I picked up something magic, yes. A club. I gotta get around these guys, deal with their shaman first. Deadly club of worth. Alright. Deal with the shamans, don't get cornered. It's always the game. Now we can start murdering basic fallen. Murder's such a strong word when they try to kill you first. So these are the guys I ran around. Need to take them out too. I can't carry anymore. Alright, the Deadly Club of Worth. Plus 22% enhanced damage, plus 2 to minimum damage, and of course the usual extra 50% damage. Whoa-hoo! To undead. Sorry about that. I'll fix it in just a second. Uh. 
How's the audio? Back to normal? My USB splitter. Well, my phone fell down and it unplugged my USB splitter. Which deactivated my headphones was the main thing. Everything should be good now. I see that dab, I'll get right to it. Here you go. Woo! I should get back in the habit of talking to Akara since she fully heals you. And I'm actually coming back with damage now. Hey, Karis! No, not at all. It's lovely to see you. How are you, my friend? Days there, huh? You know, it's been remarkably cool in Colorado the last few days, too. Not like Oregon. No, no, not at all. We've had several days of kind of light, refreshing rain showers and high temperatures and like the high 60s, low 70s. It's been lovely. Get over here. I already killed their boss. I thought her minion pack seemed a little small though. There are the rest of them. Where was that zombie? I know I heard him. There he is. Three of them. Not just one. Hey, hey, level 10. Alright. You know, strength and dex have still been good. We'll dump those into vitality. We'll get my fifth rank of power strike. To attack rating plus 68%, lightning damage 1 to 88, mana cost goes up to 3. Hey, buddy. We need to loop a car into our habit. Monsters have gotten strong enough that, you know, most aren't threats per se, but 
We're coming back to town damaged or missing mana, and she is a free refill. If we're there anyway, it's very silly not to visit her. Alright. Cave level 1's done, so let's head back up to level 2, or the level 2 entrance. Go see what we find down there. Here is cave level two. And a little bit of lag. Can't ever play without that. Oh, Lord of mercy. Extra fast. get away from those. Come here. extra powerful Dark Ranger minions. Slowly but surely. Oh, don't you lag on me. Terrible fucking timing. Oh shit, another one. Maybe that's my problem. There's a whole nother boss down there. Holy enemies! Yeah, it's not messing around. That's for sure. And this one has life steal. I see it. Taking her out is going to eat most of my potion belt, if not all of it. I can see that, that's fine. Mana burn, that's it. Well, get over here, no wonder my power strike isn't recharging. There we go. That's better. Excellent. Holy enemies, Batman. Yeah. Well, it's that, I mean, it, it, it's usually like that when you get to the bottom segment of one of these side areas. There's the shaman. Gotta get through these guys and get, kill them. I can't carry anymore. All right. Out of space. Let's finish off the mooks. Most of them, anyway. I am overburdened. Okay.
Sorry, just a second. Well, damn. That's no good. I think my phone cable just broke. Well, maybe not. Something's wrong with it. Always happens to me. You stumble on the second wave when you're trying to escape the first. Yeah, well, the Diablo games are particularly good at that little device. Sorry, guys. Just give me a second. I'm trying to put this thing back together. Something got bent out of shape, and frankly, not sure I can fix it. Doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Well, all right then. Give me one second, I'll be right back. I need to get a new plug. If you'll excuse me. There we go. Now we got the fast charging wireless platform. We're good to go. Okay. As I was saying, we're at level 11. Strength and dex are still good, so that one goes to vitality. Level 11, another rank into power strike, keep sitting on the other one. To attack rating plus 80%, lightning damage 1 to 106, mana cost 3.2. And we need to go back to town, but first let's identify. Cap. Barrel cap of balance. 10% faster hit recovery. Poison resist plus 5%. Faster hit recovery is clutch. It's one of the best stats there is, so we're definitely going with that. The rare hand axe, Raven Barb, 3 to 8 damage, 5% chance to cast level 3 Ice Bolt on attack, 2 to maximum damage, 10 to attack rating, 1 to 7 lightning damage, lightning resist, 7%, a superior sash, 2 defense, increased maximum durability, 13 to percent, I mean it's not much, but it is an upgrade. Alrighty. Pull out these mana pots. Refill the belt with heals. And we're good to go back to town. Yeah, probably good for a barb, especially if he was going for axe mastery. What you need? Not very useful for a Javazon, but that's all right. Not too many things are. Good day. 
Alright, back to it. Club, club, scepter, leather armor, leather gloves, portal scroll, die. Identify scroll. Alright, still live shaman back here. So let's deal with him first. Alright, she's not a minion. So we can just handle her more like normal. I can't carry anymore. Trap. Okay, what do we get out of there? Let's get all the gold first. And potions. And keys. I am overburdened. Okay, I can't can't carry any more potions either. <sighs> and that's everything we can get first round. Wait, there's one more gold. I see it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, let's retool the belt a little. Healing potion points 150. I want that. There we go. Back to town. And magic stuff. Uh, club and a scepter. Let's see, the club is a club of the leech. 4% life stolen per hit. The scepter is a scepter of craftsmanship. 1 to maximum damage. Blah, blah, boring. Man, it really needs to stop with the lag. Good to see you. Bag hits during a particularly dicey fight, it will kill me. Greetings. I don't want that. Okay. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. All right. We did get another healing potion. I want to swap in like so. Unidentified boots. Boots of dexterity. Defense three, one to dex. Uh, that's better than stamina heal. We got a sash. Sash of thorns. Attacker takes damage of one. That's yeah, definitely better than durability. Another set of unidentified boots. Crimson Boots of Dexterity, 1 to Dexterity, and 5 Fire Resist is definitely better than 1 to Dexterity. And there's another pair of boots. 1 to Dexterity, there's a short bow. 2 to Dexterity, and I am actually out of Identify Scrolls. Need to visit Akara and buy some more. Uh, you don't lose all your progress, no. Um, what you need? Uh, in in normal mode, and I'm playing normal mode this go round. Um, all that happens is, in a sort of hilarious precursor to Dark Souls, you lose all of your equipment unless you're able to, until you're able to get back to your corpse. So you have to fight your way back to the spot where you died and retrieve your corpse. And then when you do, you get all your gear back, and you can proceed as normal. Um, you, lo you lose any gold that isn't in your stash, and yeah, DLF has it exactly. And then in higher difficulties, you also lose 10% of your experience progress to the next level. 
Uh, on the other, if you're not rather than normal, if you're playing in hardcore mode, you die. The entire game is over. You have to restart from scratch with a brand new character. Get a new batch of identify scrolls. All right. A few more things. More boots. Another pair of boots of dexterity. Leather armor of thorns. It's better than two defense. One defense on another leather armor of thorns. Good grief. What are the odds of it spawning like all those identical item suffixes like three times? the people on, on battle.net that always made me go made me go whoa for the ones who played uh who played hardcore and did pvp right, the hardcore pvpers were wild i guess there probably still are some and they still are wild now that i think about it charm. Is this one any good? We'll find out. Required level 15. Lightning resists 6%, 10% extra gold from monsters. Ogre small charm agreed. I'm gonna say no. No, that's not that good. I am overburdened. It's certainly not worth burning an inventory slot. Good to see you. Good on scrolls. All right, we are done with the cave. It's time to head to the burial grounds. Deal with our next quest. Oh, who's bothering me? We're fine. <sighs> yeah, Cole, and unlike a lot of games, I get a little annoyed with the frequency of the town trips, but they're very short in this game, so it doesn't matter that much to me. Uh, but uh, because of the presence of the charms in particular, which essentially trade inventory slots for permanent buffs, I can see why they keep the slots limited. Uh-oh, Alex. I'm guessing that means, in the immortal words of the Dark Souls ser of the Souls series, you died. But welcome back. We're glad to have you here. Well, I'm sorry your no death I runs. Sense great sorrow and misery. I'm sorry your no death runs still elude you. Oh, you survived. Oh, 
a session. Okay, so you... Well, I don't know anything about Dark Souls, but I'm going to play it on the channel before too long, so I won't ask you how far you got or anything that might spoil anything. But I'm glad things are still going well. I'll just leave it at that. Superior Wand. Eagle Orb. Increase maximum durability 12%. Let's identify that Eagle Orb. Even if it is Sorceress only, Septic Eagle Orb of Self Repair. Plus 6 poison damage over 2 seconds, plus 1 to charged bolt, sorceress only, plus 4 to life. Or there's 1 durability in 33 seconds. Here's Skelly. Small charm. Rugged small charm of greed. Plus 8 maximum stamina, 8% extra gold for monsters. Yeah, I thought as much. That's why, uh... I guess some part of my brain just forgot that the game does save and you can just... Pause and quit. In my mind, no deaths meant one go, but that's obviously not true. If you give it about five seconds to pause. my YouTube channel, because uh, I'm playing my first ever Souls game on there right now. I'm playing Demon Souls, not, uh, not Dark Souls, not yet, but I can tell you my personal story of getting into it and suddenly, suddenly really wanting to play the entire series. It's hard to, it's hard to pick the exact inflection point. At some, I guess it, I guess it kind of happens gradually. But I suddenly got really, really, really hooked on the feeling of finally making progress in that game. Like you head bash and head bash. Die a bunch of times. Can't figure out what the hell's going on, and then. Suddenly, you get past whatever you've been stuck on. It is a truly magic moment. And the feeling is highly addictive, at least to me. Good day! The other thing that's just really, really good about it is the atmosphere and the soundtrack and things like that. It's, it's just top yeah. notch. Uh, the world building is really, really cool, and I enjoy that aspect of it a lot as well. But, I'm playing Demon Souls, and it is my first ever Souls game, so. I can't say I'm coming at you as a fan, but more like a, more like a new convert, so to speak. Okay, so the thing with Blood Raven is I like to bait out as many of her minions as I can, thin the herd, because she can summon new undead, but she doesn't do it until you actually aggro her. So the more you thin the herd before you actually aggro her and get better... Uh, Sorry, you can't speak all of a sudden. Before you actually aggro her, it behooves you to kill as many undead as possible and thin the herd so that you're as close to only dealing with her as you can be. 
then you want to rush her, kill her as quickly as possible, and then mop up all the rest of the mooks. Large charm. Any good? Plus two to dexterity. No, not really. Not worth two inventory slots anyway. There she is. Join my army of the dead. So all the other stuff will just go ahead and die for me, which is neat. I can't carry anymore. Quest log. Return to Kashia for a reward. All right, what do we get? Rare boots. Bramble brogues. 10% faster hit recovery. Yes! 19% enhanced defense. Eh. Plus 5 maximum stamina. Eh. Cold resist plus 8%. That's good. Poison length reduced by 25%. That's good. Repairs one durability in 33 seconds. Well, it's certainly a massive upgrade. That 10% faster hit recovery is ballin'. Large axe of maiming. Plus 3 to maximum damage. Bronze Hunter's Bow, plus 18 to attack rating. Spiked Club of Shock, adds 1 to 8 lightning damage, plus 50% damage to undead. Alright, let's go back to town. Here's Kashia. Come on, girl. What you got to say to me? I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend. I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. This is a big deal. Uh, the mercenary is a gigantic, very significant power boost. Um, and you need to think, depending on who, what your build is, what uh, character you're using, what mercenary you want for the end game. For me, it's easy. I want one of the Act 2 mercenaries. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, almost everyone uses an Act 2 mercenary because they have auras like the Paladin does, so you can get passive buffs when you're traveling with one, or, you know, offensive ones. I'm gonna go with the defensive Act 2 mercenary who has, from Nightmare, who has the Holy Freeze aura. So until I get to Act 2 on Nightmare, I might as well just use this gal. I can get, I can feed her all the bows I find, because I'm not going to be using them. And she will be just another source of damage when I'm out of mana. I don't have my good skills going yet. Uh, yes, they kind of retconned it uh, after the first Diablo. Obviously. But the, the retconning was such that Blood Raven is theoretically... The Rogue from Diablo 1. Uh, the Summoner in the Arcane Sanctuary is supposedly the Sorcerer from Diablo 1. And of course, the Dark Wanderer who turns into Diablo is the war who is ultimately possessed by Diablo is uh, the Warrior from Diablo 1. Uh, talk to Kashia. I can hardly believe. Okay, that's the same. Gossip. When I was very young, Akara told me tales of the Amazons' fearlessness in battle, and of their skills with spears and bows. I like to think we rogues have much in common with you Amazons. And then Diablo 3 did a lot of further retconning with the story about uh, the warrior being Prince Aiden, King Leoric's son. Okay, so... Here is my first mercenary, and she'll be my mercenary all the way until Act 2 Nightmare. Paige, level 6. 
Life, 72 of 72. Strength, 38. Dexterity, 51. Damage, 1 to 4. Defense, 51. Fire resistance, 6. Cold resistance, 6. Lightning resistance, 6. Poison resistance, 6. Well, hell, I might as well give her this bronze hunter's bow. I'll put that to good use. Don't you think? Yeah. And then... When I find a good hat, I'll give it to her. I'm sure I'll find more arrows before long. Give her those too. And I'll find some decent body armor, but... For now... Her damage is up to 4 to 13. She's doing alright. Let's see, anyone else got anything to say now? Where can I take you? Maybe some new gossip. Oh. You've done well, stranger. I hope all your efforts are worth it. I'll gladly take Okay, we've heard that already. Geed. Good day. Some of those gals weren't so nice the first time around. Huh. Wareev was kind enough to let me travel with his caravan, but don't let him drag you into a search for a new eastern trade route. I'm making a fortune right here. Yeah, from the rogues, of course. You, on the other hand, always get my best prices. Ah, of course I do, Geed. You're just so... You just strike me as such a trustworthy fellow. What you need? Hey, you know what, Alex? That's one of those games where when the glitches happen in your favor, you just you just take it. Akara, our priestess in Seer, is most upset by the corruption of our sisters. I fear that she blames herself. Let's visit Akara. Oh, new quest. It is clear that we are facing an evil difficult to comprehend, let alone combat. There is only one Haradrim sage, schooled in the most arcane history and lore, who could advise us. His name is Decker Kane. Pop Champ! Go to Tristram and find him, my friend. I pray that he still lives. Oh man, the very first time you played this game, she said you were going to Tristram to get Kane. That was such a pog champ. And Ariel must be made to pay for her sacrilege. Any new gossip? Our mental discipline is matched only by our skill in archery. I only hope these are enough to withstand this awful trial. The search for Kane. Tristram is too far to journey by foot. Cain would likely be dead when you arrived. However, there is a magical portal that will take you there instantly. To open it, one must stand within the circle of Cairn stones and touch them in a certain order. The proper order can be found in the runes written on the bark of the Tree of Inethus. You must find the sacred Tree of Inethus and bring back its bark. I will translate the runes to unlock the stone's mystic pattern. Wow, all right then. Quest log. Go through the underground passage to the dark wood, search for the tree of Inephus, and recover the scroll. Well, let's talk to everybody else about our new quest. Oh yes, of course. Sister's burial grounds, quest completed. Yes? Search for Kane. The Bark of Inephus holds mystical runes. Akara can translate them into our revenge. Reeve. Search for Kane. Months ago, I came across a few survivors from Tristram. They said that Kane had gone half mad and could no longer distinguish fact from fantasy. <laughs> it's 
absolutely true, Cole. Search for Kane. I would sooner micturate in a tankard of my own ale than journey to Tristram. <coughs> Alright, Geed. If you bring back the Bark of Inifus, Akara will tell you how to get to Tristram. Uh, when you get back to Tristram and it starts playing the it starts playing the music from the first game. Oh, I was so pumped back in the day. And I will, to be clear, I will be pumped again. There'll be no shortage of pumpedness. Okay, we got two new side areas to explore. The crypt and the mausoleum here underneath the burial grounds. Let's start with the crypt. A superior javelin, an unidentified ring, and of course, got my new helper. She should help. Ring of Greed, 37% extra gold from monsters. Eh, no thank you. A jewel, on the other hand, can probably go in my shield. Jewel of Freedom, requirements minus 15%. Never mind. Diablo 2 resurrected Cole. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, we're we're pretty excited about it around here. Uh, Blizzard has remade this game, essentially from the ground up, but it's a very faithful remake, in kind of in the vein of the uh, redone version of Link's Awakening that Nintendo put out for the Switch. Like it's that level of faithfulness slash update and uh, it's coming out on all the major platforms in September. I think uh, September 23rd is the exact date. I can't carry anymore. What are the gloves? Plus one to strength. Yeah. Not awesome. But you can see what a huge boost in combat Greetings. simply having my mercenary already is. I don't even have decent gear on her. She's not even my permanent merc. Just having one is so good. And my next level is level 12, which unlocks a new skill tier, which is always very exciting. The order welcomes you. Closer and closer to actually being able to do some stuff. <laughs> That's also pretty dependent on what gear we find. To use our skills with any consistency, it's very, very important to find some, uh, Man of Steel equipment. Oh yeah, she's a cold arrow rogue. That's just good luck. But if you have an Act 1 Merc, cold arrow is definitely what you want. Look at her go. Boom. Roasted. Praise be to cold damage. Oh yeah, I mean, when we're fighting, uh... Another jewel. Jewel of Avarice. 16% extra gold from monsters. I really... I don't care enough about gold. I feel like I... 
I feel like I can still probably find something actually useful for that socket. Is it extra strong magic resistant? Got him. See, that one was easy. Get frosted, skellies. You're damn right. I am overburdened. We'll sub in the one light healing potion. Do some identifying. We have an Iron Hand Axe of Blight, plus 23 to attack rating, plus 2 poison damage over 2 seconds. And we've got an Amulet. Amulet of Light, plus 10 to attack rating, plus 1 to light radius. Nope. Not an upgrade. I need to buy more Identify Scrolls on this trip. Good evening. Boots, 5% poison resist. Yeah, what I've got's better. Oh, there's the ch there's the happy chest. Chipped diamond. Oh, I think a diamond is new. Can be inserted into socketed items. Weapons, plus 28% damage to undead. Armor and helms, plus 20 to attack rating. Shields, all resistances, plus 6. So that would be very useful, but I need to hold on to gems for transmuting. Cap of self-repair, blah blah blah. Light healing potion and a jewel. Oh, and a sash. Should identify that, too. Sturdy sash of strength. Extra defense, two strength. That's better. What about this jewel? Lapis Lazuli jewel. Cold resist plus 14%. Okay, that's worth using. Thank you. Finally, something. Overburdened. I keep forgetting that, uh. What can I do for you? My Merc doesn't have body armor yet. Oh, and she also doesn't have any. She also doesn't have a helmet, so. She can have the cap of self repair! I'll put that to good use. Yahoo! Put the diamond in there. And she's about to have armor. Thirteen. Very good. Have that. Put that to good use. I think she's fully loaded now, because I don't think I can give her an offhand if, I'm give, if I've given her a bow.
Javelin. My kingdom for an actual enchanted javelin. That's a clear upgrade to what I have. They're hard to come by. I understand. I can't carry anymore. Short bow of craftsmanship. One to maximum damage. One to five, two to six. Okay, and what she has is better. Mm. Good to see you. Quilted armor of self repair. No thanks. Jagged short bow, plus one to maximum damage. Still not as good. Shrine. All right, that'll do it for the crypt. Let's head out to the mausoleum. The gems are, um, they can be inserted into various socketed equipment and they have various effects. I'm probably not going to be doing that. Later on in the game in Act 2 we get a device called the Horadric Cube that we can use to upgrade our gems by transmutation. So in Diablo 2 there are only five degrees of gem. Chipped, flawed, ordinary, flawless, and perfect. And so if you take three chipped, you can transmute to a flawed, three flawed to a normal, and so on, up to perfect. Now, perfect gems are, uh, there's also, I haven't found any yet, but there are also items called runes in this game, and each rune has a level of commonality from one, I think, all the way through 50 or something like that. And to upgrade the runes, there are recipes as well. So if you, I think it's like three level one runes and a certain gem, you can upgrade to the next level rune. And the higher level runes, they require perfect gems as part of their transmutation recipes. Finally, the end of that story is that if you get the right combination of runes and an item with the right number of sockets, you can spell out what are called a rune word to get a really, really powerful, unique item. There's one that I want for this build. It's a body armor rune word called the Chains of Honor. <clears throat> and uh, I'm hoarding all of those gems so that I can transmute my way up toward that rune word later on in the game when the runes start uh, dropping. I can't 
Oh, I'm about to go back to town. I am overburdened. I feel like I can just go to town using my uh, power strike. So here we go. Yeah, I think that's right, DLF. But the point being, until you get you. until you get the cube, you really want to hoard all that low-level stuff so you can transmute it later. You don't want to spend level one gems on your socketed items when those go into crafting recipes later on. That's why I have them all hoarded in my chest. And will continue to do so. And eventually I'll have to start prioritizing. The order welcomes you. Unless I get the cube before I run out of space, which honestly does not seem very likely. It's never happened for me before. Okay, let's Do I need to give her arrows? I can't use that. No. Can I give her a shield? Or some other kind of I might be able to give her no quivers or Diablo 3. I don't I didn't think I could put anything else in her offhand, but can you take that buckler? I can't use that. No. Okay. Yeah, no, I thought so. Bo takes both hands. I don't know why it's like an open slot. Because graphically they usually represent that by showing the model for whatever the item she has equipped in both hands, but. Take billions of rune L runes to get a Zod rune. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the highest I, I if I remember right, uh, Chains of Honor is Dolumberist. I think the the highest in that word is Burr. I think it's rank 30 out of 33. I am overburdened. If memory serves, and we're a long way, we're a long way off of having that. That's that's end game talk. But good to see you. Oh wow, look at that. Plus three to holy bolt. That set their cells for five thousand. It's beefy. Beefy gold. Yeah, that seems about right, because the, the Act 2 guys use uh, spears, which are also two-handed weapons. Alright, I got leather. 13, 12. What she currently has is better, albeit barely. Oh hi, here we go. Fire enchanted. Fine. I want to get the main guy. I don't get this minion as, as I have extra or X. As I have leftover mana. Perfect. Alright. Is there anything magic in there at all? I don't think so. No, she just wants to pick more fights with more monsters. Alright, back here. And back to here. Oh, we're getting close to level 12. I can almost taste it. Stash the emerald. Swap out my last miner pot. That's good. What can I do for you? That's is that five quadrillion? Five quadrillion number one gems? That seems about right. 
Fortunately, you get frequent drops of significantly higher levels than that. You're not fully reliant on transmutation. Otherwise, you would really be in for a long haul. Alright, we don't need to see a car this time. Let's just go. Low quality leather armor. Let's see, 13, 11. Decent quilted is still better. Hiya! I feel much stronger now. Yeah, your merc... Your mercenary independently gains her own levels. So she just leveled up, which is neat. Yeah, she just hit level 7. Very nice. trillion. Well, there you go. Slash R slash they did the math. That's if, of course, that's if you were fully reliant on transmutes. Which, blessedly, you're absolutely not. Unidentified ring. Bronze ring of greed. 22 attack rating, 28% extra gold for monsters. Alright, at this point... My chance to hit is still 95%, so I do not need to boost attack rating. I can't carry anymore. Let's get the gold, just so it's a little cleaner when we come back. Good day. Garnet Jewel, fire resist plus nine percent. You know, I might as well give her one point of defense and some fire resist. I'll put that to good use. An upgrade for her. about light pots for normal ones where I can and we'll keep on going I identified everything yes okay good Oh, uh -huh, look at her go. Love my merch. What you need?
Yeah, it's a fiery pentagram. Ooh. Magic leather armor. Small charm. Large charm. Alright, we got some stuff. Large charm. Tangerine large charm of shock. 1 to 4 lightning damage, lightning resist plus 7%. Leather armor of the jackal. Defense 17 plus 2 life. Yeah, we'll, s we'll sub all that out. I'll put that to good use. Small charm. Viridian small charm of flame. 1 to 2 fire damage, poison resist 6%. Some of that's actually pretty good, but it's still not worth inventory slots. Another large charm. Rugged large charm. 17 maximum stamina. Rare buckler! Oh, we'll see about that when we get back. I need to refill my Tome of Town portal for this visit. Good evening. I believe it is literally my next kill should get me to level 12. That is exciting. Yes? Refill that Tome of Town portal. There we go. Rare Buckler. What's it gonna be? Carrion Shield. Chance defense for chance to block 35%. 15% faster block rate. 10% increased chance of blocking. Repairs durability, plus three to mana, five fire resist, five poison resist. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Uh-huh. Boom. Another large charm. Identify it right quick. Plus six poison damage over three seconds. Star Tongue. There's level 12. Rare leather armor and a ring. And of course, level 12. Okay. Let's identify stuff first. Triumphant ring, plus one to mana after each kill. Oh yes, that's clutch. Swap out the Ring of Craftsmanship. My rare leather armor is Soul Mantle. Plus one to life, plus four to mana. Five cold resist, five poison resist. Attacker takes damage of one, has self repair. Yep, that's an upgrade. I'll give the other one to, to our Merc. And then we have the level up. Starting with stats. Strength and dex have still been good, so we'll put that into vitality. And then at level 12, many unlocks. So if we start at the javelin and spear skills, I definitely want to work my way toward lightning fury as well as charge strike. So I need lightning bolt, so I will put one skill point into there and then in passive and magic I do need a point in avoid so I will put the one I've had in the bank there so avoid will live at level one forever but we now have a 24 percent chance to dodge enemy missiles so you notice uh, when we were fighting Dark Rangers, the archers, they were just hitting us like every single shot. That single point into a void 
is going to make a huge difference going forward dealing with them. And as far as lightning, so the, of course, it'll never hit level 2, but next level would be a 31% chance. Then on Javelin and Spear, Lightning Bolt, next level, lightning damage 1 to 61, mana cost 6.2. So I am going to go ahead and... I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep Power Strike here for now. I still don't have either of my main attacks unlocked. That was a big moment. We got some big upgrades just then, both from the level up and in terms of gear. And that's it for the uh, that's it for the mausoleum. Which means that's it for the entirety of the Cold Plains. And it is nearly midnight here. So I think I'm going to nip back to the waypoint. Now, saving works a little bit differently than it did in Diablo 1. Uh, you can't really... It, and it also works very differently depending if you're playing single player or multiplayer. Single player Diablo 2, it'll keep the same map. And I'm trying to play more or less single pass. So, but all the enemies will respawn. The shrines... I don't think the shrines respawn, I can't remember. But all the enemies will respawn, chests and other th things like that will respawn, but the map itself will stay the same. So when we come back for another Diablo 2 session what can I do for you? with this character, we'll be uh, making a beeline for the stony field. So... Doing well there. Doing pretty well there. Let's do talk to Akara one time. The order welcomes you. There we go. Um. All right, that is gonna do it for me with this particular session of Diablo 2. Let me see who's online and who I can pass you find people off to in the land of a raid. Oh, Melly's still online and she is playing Breath of the Wild for her very first run, so if you haven't been in there, uh, Sugar's one of my favorite streamers. She's really f friendly, super warm, fun to talk to. I highly suggest you chat with her once we head over there and she's on her first run of Breath of the Wild which of course is one of the most spectacular games released in the last few years so I'm gonna raid over there I'll hang out for a little bit before I actually go to sleep and I will see all of you next time take care and good night